You know, I've been making videos for like a year and a half, soon going on two years, and I just realized the other day I never actually formally introduced myself to you guys. So hi, I'm Norbert, or Bert, or Bertski, however you want to, however, whatever you want to use. And welcome to my channel. This behind me is my BMW M2, my 2016 F87 M2, which if you've been watching my videos, you know all about this car. This is the car that most of my content is on. If you've never seen this car before and you're new to this channel, well, welcome. Welcome to Bertski's Polski. Now, I'm from Poland. I live in the United States. Uh, but I wanted to kind of draw inspiration for the channel in that way uh, with the name. So my last name is one of the few Polish names that doesn't actually end in ski. And because usually I go by Bert, I just combine the two into Bertski. So Bertski Spolski, which is Bert from Poland. And I wanted to kind of make this video really for that reason of kind of introducing myself a bit more formally and more upfrontly and saying, hi, this is me, this is my car, this is my channel, this is what we're all about here. Yeah, just kind of give you guys an introduction. I'm gonna be kind of hopping in the M2 in a little bit and we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive. And I'm gonna be talking about some of my inspirations, kind of why I'm doing this channel. And yeah, just talking about a couple things. Now, this video is not scripted. This is just gonna be a ramble off the top of my head, as most of my videos are. If this video is a bit of a jumble and a mess, I do apologize, but that is the way this video is just going to be. It is what it is. So, if this is your first time, thank you guys so much for stopping by, clicking on this video. I hope you stay for the whole ride. And if you have been watching my videos before, thank you for watching this video. I know this video comes a bit late, a bit of a year and a half too late. Uh, <laughs> introducing myself well thank you for stopping by anyway and hope you enjoyed the ride as well so let's hop in the m2 without further ado and let's go for a drive welcome to the inside of my m2 my current car let's start her up oh that sounds so good so this is pretty much the car that i'm for the most part going to be showing on this channel at least for now until i buy a new car eventually so let's go for a drive and let's talk a bit about me and kind of what what I bring. What uh, what's my purpose here on on YouTube? Let's let's get to know each other. Where to really begin? See, it's weird making this video like a year and a half later after starting my YouTube channel because you would think most people in like their first or second video would introduce themselves and kind of say who they are. Like, hey, I'm. Uh, I'm Bob, I make videos about trains. But I didn't do that, so I'm doing it now. It's, it's kind of weird, in a way. But I think it's an important video because I think you guys need to know kind of who I am, YouTube-wise. Like, who, who am I? What do I bring? You know, what do I expect out of this? Like, who, well, what's my story here that I'm trying to tell? My channel, I want to be kind of about my car journey. I'm a big fan of cars. I love cars. For the most part, I like my sports cars, my exotics. That's pretty much it. I can appreciate a lot of cars out there. Uh, luxury cars I do like, but I'm not all that crazy about them. Muscle cars I can appreciate, but again, not too crazy about them. Same with like old classics, like you know, your Chevys, your Plymouths. Like, I'm not really into all that kind of stuff. I wanted to kind of make this channel for a couple reasons. Now, I made a video way, way back talking about why I made a YouTube channel. So I'm not gonna go too, too deep into why I made the channel. But to sum up, essentially, I wanted something that eventually I could make money from. Something that I can talk about and be passionate about. And for me, that turned out to be cars. I'm like, all right, well, I love cars. It's a cool way to be around cars, even though I know this is my car, but it's an excuse to get into this car and drive it and talk about it. And hopefully, ultimately, this car becomes a, starts bringing me a return on the investment, if, if, if you will. I hope to start making money off this car in, in a way, if that makes sense. You know, I, I, that's why I want to become monetized on YouTube so I can start making money and ultimately this car will kind of pay for itself and then I could buy new cars and just kind of keep the ball rolling and that's kind of the general idea with the channel. I just, I love cars and I want to kind of talk about them in a certain way and for me that way is YouTube and I want to talk about a lot of different things. 
because I'm very I'm very careful with what I want to turn this channel into. I have a vision in my head of kind of how I want it to look and kind of the finished product, you could say. Really, I want to showcase my car journey. And what does that mean? What I really wanted to showcase is kind of my progression through my car, just kind of sharing that passion of of cars that I have. So a couple different things that I'm gonna show on this channel. My BMW M2, because this is just currently my, my weekend car, my fun car. One of my big goals, one of my kind of dreams, is to own a Ferrari. And I've talked about this many, many times at this point on you know different videos, touching on different points about this. Now I won't get too much into the details of, of those specifics. I have a whole video on that if you're interested in watching that. But I do want to touch on it because it, it kind of it matters from the sense of the journey. I have the M2, then I'm gonna probably buy another car, and then maybe another car, and then I'm gonna probably look at the Ferrari at that point. And it's that progression, that journey towards that ownership dream. And that is a goal of mine. I have an idea in mind of when I'm gonna hit that. And part of that is finance and investing. I haven't touched on this too, too much on this channel yet, but I am a big proponent, if that's the word I'm looking for, proponent. I'm a big advocate for finance, like financial literacy and investing money. One of the reasons why I think I've done fairly well in my life up to this point is whenever possible, I invested my money. While I don't wanna to touch too much on investing here, it is a big, important thing to me and eventually I wanna make videos talking about kind of personal finance and stuff like that. I've touched on this before that it's a set of videos that I do want to make. The reason I want to kind of make finance content on this channel as well as my car content is because I think the two go hand in hand. A lot of us as car people, we want to buy more expensive cars. We want to buy more luxurious, faster cars, cooler cars. Like who wouldn't want a Lamborghini or a Ferrari? So I think the two go hand in hand, finance and cars. So that's why I do at some point want to, and I, it's still in the back of my mind, I will at some point make these videos. It's just when I don't know. I want you guys to be able to enjoy the cars you want to drive and enjoy. I think it's very worthwhile for you guys to learn that stuff as well. And if there's anything I have of value that I can teach or pass on to you guys in terms of financial literacy and investing, I want to be able to do that. So I want people to kind of aim higher and I hope in a way I can kind of inspire some people with that message and obviously this video isn't intended for that but it's something to touch on and ultimately who do I want to become like how do I want my YouTube channel to look one of the big inspirations I have YouTube wise is a channel that some of you guys if you watch car YouTube not most of you have probably heard of and that's seen through glass phenomenal channel and it, it is one of the the reasons why I want to start YouTube was I, I just love his channel like every time he comes out with a video I love it and it has a bit of a adventurous storytelling cinematic kind of a flow to it and that's ultimately how I want my channel to look in a way I don't want to copy his, his content that's not the intent uh, but I do want my channel to kind of tell a bit of a story, be a bit more cinematic in a way. That's why if you look at some example videos of uh, my trip to the Montreal Grand Prix and then my 1,000 mile road trip in this car, like those videos kind of go hand in hand. And some of the videos I touch on other things from other videos. And I don't want my channel to just turn into like a tutorial channel where, oh, here's how you do this with your BMW. Oh, here's uh, this about the BMW. Like I wanted to tell a bit of a story, a bit of a personal story, if that makes sense. And hopefully that kind of paints a bit of an idea as to how I want this channel to kind of come out in the end. I want it to be kind of like a slightly cinematic, kind of a storytelling, like you see the progression. There's a vision, just know that there's a vision that I'm trying to achieve here. And I'm not just trying to go at this blindly. And maybe that's hurting my channel now a little bit because I'm not kind of creating what everyone would want me to create. Like I'm sure everyone out there wants me to take my M2 
and turn it into a thousand horsepower machine and do videos on modding this, changing that, this, that, whatever. And it's like, I'm not into that. I'm very careful with what I want my, my channel to look like in the end. But at the moment, being still relatively new, content is content nonetheless. So I'm gonna make whatever I can and we'll see where it goes. And that kind of ties into another aspect of who are some of my inspirations like in general like what kind of a human being do I want to be because obviously this channel is a bit of a personal story in a way as well and with the channel being kind of a personal story I think it's important to talk about myself from the perspective of how do I want to look on this channel like what do I want to create you know as far as my aesthetic my look my personality and I think that's very important too because not just how the videos look but like me like what do I talk about like how do I talk like how do I look there's a lot of different things to cover here like one I started going back to the gym for those of you that don't know which would be all of you I used to actually go to the gym quite regularly years ago before I started getting tattoos and I was like this close to six pack like the shape was there I just needed a little bit more definition and like I was in such a good such a good fit condition and then I got my tattoo and then I left the gym for a couple weeks to let the tattoo heal and then as we all know you leave the gym for a couple weeks and then a couple weeks turn into a month and then two months and you guys know how that goes then at work my schedule started changing every time I went back to the gym and it was just absolute pain and I could never find like a good routine but now I've started going back to the gym and I want to focus on building me as well you know I'm going into my 30s soon like uh, next year I'm gonna be turning 30 and with that I want to go into 30 nice and healthy I want to go in with hopefully a six-pack I don't know if I'll be able to achieve it in time but I can at least be a bit more defined my arms I want a little bit bigger and I just wanna I want to look better feel better like I want to look healthy you know I want to look like like oh shit this guy's making videos he's got a cool car he looks good like you know what I mean? Like, does that make sense to you guys? Because, I, I don't know, it makes sense to me. I don't know about to you guys, but to me that makes sense. And it goes into some of my, some of my inspirations. And this is very controversial, so please, if I lose subscribers over this, that's fine. I understand. But as controversial as it is, one of my kind of big inspirations are the Tate brothers. Now, hear me out, because I know that statement can be very controversial nowadays in 2024, but whether you like or dislike the Tate boys, they are right in a lot of aspects, and they do know what they're talking about. You know, I'm not going to go into all their controversies and all that stuff. That's not what I want this video to turn into or be about, but at the base core of what a lot of their stuff it says is like just be the best version of you like go to the gym look good you know focus on making money treat people well and just be like just be a, a top G you know and me with going usually by the name Bert or Bertski top B so from a certain perspective they are a big inspiration of just like be that top B in your life you know like like everyone in their own life can be their own top G. Be the best version of you, you know, take care of the people around you, make as much money as you can, drive cool cars, be fit, be healthy. And from that perspective, they are very big inspirations. I kind of take a lot of that stuff to heart. And that's why I'm trying to work on myself now, especially going into my 30s. A lot of missed opportunities in the past to work on that kind of stuff. So I'm doing it now while I'm still young and still healthy just emphasize and work on that and with that there's also like other people like um, Wes Watson's another really good one and I'm not gonna go into all of them but from like a character perspective just being the best like badass person you could be take that what as you will if if I get hate for that I understand their their flavors aren't for everyone but that's my perspective on it that's my take I hope this kind of gives a bit of insight into kind of a little bit who I am, what I want to portray in this channel, who do I want to be, like what do I want this channel to look like, and there's still so much more I could talk about, like how do I want to, like what do I want to be in 10 years, like how do I want to look in 10 years, what do I want to drive in 10 years, and 
I have an idea for all that stuff, but it's not really worth talking about in this video. This is more of just an introduction, like who I am, what's important to me. I hope this video makes sense. Like this is very unscripted. This is very just spewing it all out there. And I hope that it gets some kind of message across to you guys about like what this channel is about. Because I don't want to put myself in a corner where, you know, my whole channel is about my M2. And then if I buy like an AMG or if I buy an Aston Martin, all of a sudden all my subscribers just leave because they're like, oh, well, I was only here for the M2 content. You now have an Aston Martin. Adios. You know, like, that's not that's not the channel I want to create. And the channel is a car channel, but it is about me. It is about me and my journey through my car stuff. So I'm going to at some point do some videos on like my Hot Wheel collection. I'm going to do a video about all my little die cast Ferrari models that I have and more Formula One content and different stuff like that. And Hopefully, you'll be able to see through videos, maybe in a couple months, maybe a year. Hopefully, I look different too. Hopefully, I look a little beefier, bulkier. That's probably going to be it for this video. So, I hope that this video makes sense. I'm Norbert. Welcome to my channel. I hope you subscribe and follow me on this car journey. It would really mean a lot, especially in these early phases as I'm trying to get monetized. I'm trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. I hope you guys stick with me on this journey, and I hope I don't let you guys down with it. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far in the video all the way to the end. For those of you that have been watching my channel, thank you guys so much for the support. For any of you guys that are new, Thank you so much for clicking on this video, stopping by, seeing what I'm about, seeing what this channel's about, and hopefully you check out some more content. And yeah, I'm starting to ramble at this point, so leave me a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, guys.